So anyway, that's mm -hmm. what we have. Gary, you want to talk about your, your things here? In the, I know you love the sand. And, and it shows in your work that uh, it's beer finished. So go ahead and show and do a show and tell on what you're using. Well, this is the, I cut eight trees out of my yard last spring. And this is the stump out of one of them. <coughs> I had another one here, a big one, last time. This is the first coat of finish. I still have to sand it and put another coat on it. Yeah, the, the dark areas have a natural darkness to it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the stump. It's, uh, that's that's the kind of where the roots are. Is what we're yeah, this is where the, this yeah. is the roots here. That's the easy part. What's that? Well, this, these raised facets are the hard part. They won't be that. Yeah, the, the bottom, that's not bad at all. You can get at that with tool. But when you start, I tried to, uh, wherever there was a odd shape here, I tried to bring it down to the center. <clears throat> that's why they're all different shapes and sizes and stuff. But maintaining this edge right here so it's not flat or would you use the sandpaper or cuts all or something? I use everything you can imagine. It's, it's just a, a lot of work. If you take places like this right here, this is really tough. Like I say, I still got to wet sand it with Danish oil yet. Get another coat on it and get some more sand scratches up. It'll come up pretty nice. Uh, what kind of wood is that? Just maple, sugar maple. <clears throat> I should mention that every time I stop at Gary's shop, I shouldn't bring this up. His daughter is in there sanding it. You talk to her and say, Yeah, but then I get the 10 hours in the day. Every <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not been up your road. She just had a baby. I made her some flowers like this. Because my wife and her don't don't want anybody to buy any flowers. You don't love them because they don't last. That's why I made those. Those are less. Water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is that that palm sander from Wood Turner and Wonders. That we were just talking about that Jim yeah. can bring that in and Mike did too. Um, they wanted to know some of the sanding tools I have. I use a lot of air. And I've had this dual action for years. And that's really handy because it's, it gets into the small places and it's a, what do you mean by dual action? It spins and it's also got a right. This is a drill that I use a lot, an air drill. And the reason I like this one is because it's less than 1,500 RPMs and it doesn't burn the work. And Mike's not here, and that's, that's the reason I brought this. But I used a lot of these for rough, for the flexible discs, and get them from Craft Supply and Packer. And all they do is you just Push them on there. And they stay on there. They're like roll out discs, not right this way, but they're flexible. And they last quite a while. So. <clears throat> this is really handy because it, it's quiet for one, it doesn't use a lot of air, and it does a nice job for like bowls and flat work and that. And I use these. Uh, Oh, yeah. You use this mesh stuff? It's I haven't yet. I've got so much sandpaper, yeah. but I'll probably try it. 